Hi everyone, it's Anne from Frugal, and today I am here to talk to you about five things that you need to be buying at thrift stores, if you're not already. Come on. All right, thrift stores. Here's the thing. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I used to shop at them all the time when I was in college. I used to find some really cool vintage blouses. Plus I was poor, so I found some really good items that I could use and mix and match. And you know, college is all about discovery. And then when I started making some money, I was like, ew, no thank you thrift stores. I'm gonna start shopping at Target and TJ Maxx and goodbye. <laughs> See you later. I've outgrown you. But uh, now that me and my husband are really trying to get back into the, what is it called? In the black versus in the red. Uh, I've had to start going to thrift stores again, which I love. I'm rediscovering my love for them. It's like a long lost love that you're just like, well, hello lover. You know, so you're like going, okay, well time to rediscover the whole thrift store thing. That is what inspired me to do this video five things that you need to be buying at thrift stores if you're not already. Number one, shoes. Yes, that's right, shoes. They say not to judge a person until you've walked a mile in their shoes, so I would have to safely say that I've judged a few people because I have bought shoes at thrift stores. I have found some Steve Madden's. I have found some Birkenstocks, like legit Birkenstocks at thrift stores. I have found some super cute, uh, I think Nikes even, and the thing is, is I think people donate shoes because either A, they have a shopping addiction where they don't wanna get rid of their shoes or they wanna buy shoes, they're compulsive shoe buyers, and then they're like, mm, time to get rid of my shoe collection, or they buy them and they don't try them on and then they realize that they pinch their feet or they don't fit right. Whatever, whatever it is, I love them because here's the thing about shoes is a lot of times I go, oh my gosh, these shoes look like they've barely been worn. And then here's the key to buying shoes at thrift stores. Do not buy them if they look like they've been worn a lot because that is kind of weird. But a lot of times I'll look at shoes and be like, oh my gosh, these look amazing. And then I look at the soles and they've never been worn. They look brand spanking new. And I'm like, cha-ching, cha-ching. Like I found a pair of red sandals that were new for I think $3 I paid at Goodwill. So I say shoes, look for shoes, look for shoes, look for shoes. Number two, baby clothes. Oh my gosh, those babies grow so flippin' fast that I find it absolutely ridiculous to go to places that ha that charge 20, 20, $30 for an outfit for, a, for my kid that's adorable, but he's only gonna fit into it for a month. I'm sorry, and that goes for shoes, that goes for bathing suits, that goes for pretty much anything that they wear because they just grow out of them so flippin' fast. So I say go to the thrift stores for baby clothes, for baby shoes, for baby anything. Now, I will say though, don't be like that parent that donates all of their crap to thrift stores because I have found, and I don't blame the thrift stores, but there are thrift stores that there's clearly a stain on the baby clothes and they probably do wash all the clothes beforehand, but there are like, you know, pu they puke and they shit over everything. So you just gotta be careful. Like with me, with my son, every time he outgrows like a whole series, like a three months or a six months or a nine months or a 12 months, I go through the whole thing and anything that's super cute and fairly gender neutral, cause I don't know if me and my husband will have another kid or if it'll be a boy or a girl. If it's gender neutral and it's in great condition, I'll keep it. If it's not in great condition, or if there's even the slightest stain, I'll, I'll chuck it, because no one wants no one wants kids' clothes with a stain. That's ill. But if it's something that is in fairly decent shape, but I'm like, nah, I don't know if we'll use it or not, I will definitely donate it to Goodwill, Youth Ranch, any thrift store that needs it. So just so you know, thrift stores, kids' clothes, do it. Go enjoy and actually a lot of thrift stores will do like a half off baby Wednesdays I've seen that before where they do 50 cent kids clothes on Wednesdays there's some really cute stuff there holy <laughs> number three seasonal decorations I cannot believe 
how much money people spend on seasonal decorations. I love that people like to be festive. I love that people like to get into Christmas, to Halloween, to Easter, to St. Patty's Day. I love the fact that people love to dress up their houses, their interior, their exterior. I think that that is so admirable. But I'm not gonna say who, but I do know of someone that spent $800 on Easter decorations for one year and then was like, I don't have a place to store it and then just ended up donating it. But their house did look awesome. I'm not gonna say who it is. It's not, it's, comp it's completely confidential. But I will say, listen up folks, go to thrift stores in the seasonal. They keep that on lockdown and then they, they're like, Oh, once the season is here because everyone donates their seasonal crap because they're like, I don't know what to do with this. Tchotchkes, lights, um, nutcrackers, Christmas nutcrackers. Luckily, my husband has a nutcracker for free. Me. Me, but, but some people do pay for nutcrackers. And I mean, that is like $50 a nutcracker if you go online. But thrift stores, you can go and buy a slightly used nutcracker for like, five bucks. So I'm just saying like seasonal, if you are a huge Halloween buff, if you are a huge Christmas buff, if you are a huge Easter buff, go to the thrift stores around that time of year and they will hook you up. You will spend 50 bucks for something that would cost $500 at another store. So don't be spending your money. And Christmas lights, oh my gosh, Christmas lights. I cannot believe how much money people spend on Christmas lights. Just go to the thrift store. You gotta untangle them, that is true. That is like, oh geez, that is when you're just like, I'm just gonna hire my kid to do it for 50 cents an hour and give him two bucks at the end of it because untangling Christmas lights at a thrift store is a job. So I say seasonal decorations, if you're in the market, thrift store. Let me just take a drink out of my straw. Ugly Christmas sweaters. Why are people going online and typing in, mm. oh God, I got an ugly, oh, another ugly sweater party, another ugly Christmas sweater party. Oh God, where am I gonna find one at? Mm. Oh my God, $49.99, that's a steal of a deal. Oh yes, an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go down to your local thrift store and you can find an ugly sweater, an ugly Christmas sweater, an ugly anything sweater for $2.50, $3. Seriously, stop the madness. I can't believe there are companies out there that are making millions of dollars on ugly Christmas sweaters when all you have to do is walk down. Okay, I'm mostly angry because I didn't think about it myself, but I'm just saying like in general, go down to your local thrift store or even call your parents, call your grandparents, say, hey, do you got a Christmas sweater I can borrow? And they're like, oh yeah, actually there's a big old, I got a moose with a cowboy hat and, and a tiara and a boa. And yeah, actually I love that, but can you bring that back to me? Cause I love that Christmas sweater. I, but phew, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'll bring it back to you. Cause that's fucking ugly. And they'll be like, that's, but that's my favorite Christmas sweater. That's class, because that's how generations work. <sighs> that is my, <sighs> don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Mm. That is in line with people that don't use blinkers. That is in line, which, which is me, let's be honest. Uh, that is in line with the people that use the passing lane as their own personal lane and don't pass anyone, which is not me, but yeah. That is in line with the people that oh, bring their dogs to grocery stores, even when they're not service animals, but they say they are because they're comfort animals. Yeah, that's what animals are, they're comfort animals. <sighs> anyway, anyway, Christmas sweaters, get, get them at thrift stores. Number five on the list is vintage clothes. That's right, ladies, if you're into vintage, or even guys too, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't discriminate. Even guys too. If you're into vintage clothes and you love like a good circa 1950s, 1960s sweater, uh, blouse, skirt, go to thrift stores. I actually found a beautiful vintage hand-stitched black and cream dress with a little, um, what do you call it? A little, little cover-up next to it that I was like, oh, that'd be perfect for a murder mystery party when I was um, 20, 
20 pounds less than I am now, maybe 25 pounds less than I am now. It doesn't fit me. I still haven't figured out if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to sell it, but I bought it for, I think 25 or $30. And it was at a, it was for, um, the women's, it was for a women's shelter thrift store. So it was all benefited for the women's shelter, which I loved, but I looked at a similar dress online. It was like an old school cocktail dress. Um, they were selling for like three or $400 online. I go, Oh my gosh, I spent $30 for this dress. It is beautiful and it's beautifully hand stitched and it's beautifully done. And so I don't know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not. If you guys like it, make me an offer, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's adorable, but I'm just saying if you want, if you're into vintage type clothes, you got shoes, you got purses. Oh my gosh. I found a beautiful hand beaded purse too, for practically nothing in a thrift store. But if any, any vintage clothes that you want, seriously do some thrift store diving. It's amazing. The kind of stuff that people just want to get out of their lives. There's a lot of people that lose moms, grandmas, aunts that are just wanting to get rid of their, or I shouldn't say get rid of donate their belongings. Cause they just don't have a place for them. And I respect that and I get that, but there are some pretty good finds there if you are into vintage clothes. So before you head out the door to do your uh, thrift store shopping finds, make sure that you hit subscribe to see more videos like this and also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and check out our website as well. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh. I'm filming this at like midnight, which my bedtime is normally nine. So, but you do what you can when you have a kid. All right. Don't use that pill.